on the next episode of Sip, Suds, and Smokes. Today, we're going to be doing some whiskeys, and here's the ones we're going to be discussing today. We have from Hoot & Young, their American Whiskey. From Virginia Distillery Company, we have Courage & Conviction. A little bit different, we have Larceny Barrel Proof. We have the A121 and the B521. For Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, we have the A121 and the A521. From Old Fitz, we have the Bottled and Bond 2021 Spring Release. Woo! We have uh, Murray Hill Club Bourbon Whiskey of Blend Batch 21. From Joseph Magnus, we have their Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And last but not least, we have the Angels Envy Straight Bourbon finished in Madeira Cast, their latest release of their cellar collection. Woo! We'll be right back after this break. live from the dude in the basement studios why because that's where the good stuff is it sips suds and smokes with your smoke and host the good old boys It's sippin' time. Yes, it's sippin' time. Hello and welcome to this Sips episode where everything good in life is worth discussing. As always, we are the best thing on at 2 a.m. Oh, and whoa, three. Whoa. And three. Not since they started putting on the midget wrestling. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, dude, I'm never watching midget wrestling. I'm sorry. Which buffer are they using for that? No, no, Michael's brother. Yeah. Yeah, it's, gets me too it's excited. Like his, his, Can't watch his, it. His cousin's best friend's <laughs> neighbor. You know, I was getting ready to rumble. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is Made Man Bob. Joining me today are Made Man Brent. Let's get to drinking. Okay, he's ready to go. <laughs> Good old boy, Harm. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Um, I've been, you know, thinking about you know whiskey and. I've got the world on a string, and I'm sitting on a rainbow. That string's around my finger. The heck is he talking about? <laughs> Lucky me. Yeah. All right. We're, we're moving on from that. Yeah. Good old boy, Justin. <laughs> Good morning, Bob. Good to be in the basement. All right. Well, our sip segments are all about wine, distilled spirits, tea, and coffee, and anything else that you could drink. So uh, today, we're going to be doing some whiskeys, and here's the ones we're going to be discussing today. We have from Hoot & Young, their American Whiskey. From Virginia Distillery Company, we have Courage and Conviction. Um, we I are, feel like there should be sound effects here. Uh, yeah. The, where's the yeehaw sound effects? Yeehaw, that was it. That was it. Yeehaw. Oh, God. So, <laughs> Courage and Conviction and Hoot and Young. We have um, a little bit different. We have Larceny Barrel Proof. We have the A121 and the B521. For Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, we have the A121 and the A521. More yeehaws, please. Yeehaw. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! There yeah. you go. Uh, from Old Fitz, we have the Bottled and Bond 2021 Spring Release. Woo! Feel better now? Thank you. I appreciate it. a lot better. That, we have, these, these deserve them. We have uh, Murray Hill Club Bourbon Whiskey of Blend Batch 21. From Joseph Magnus, we have their straight bourbon whiskey. And last but not least, we have the Angel's Envy straight bourbon finished in Madeira Cast, their latest release of their cellar collection. So we're going to be tasting and discussing these whiskeys, and we're going to ask Justin to give us our sips ratings. Okay. Well, today, a special treat for everyone. I'm bringing... You're just going to talk like a normal person? Jeff, McLaugh Jeff McLaughlin back from the other side. He's going to do our SIPs ratings today. Uh, for the one person out there who knows that is, uh, that he's going, okay, for everyone else. Nixon speechwriter, McLaughlin. It's, from yeah, it's an old dead dude from the yes. 70s. Bob, you're wrong. Yeah, <laughs> old right. dead dude from the <laughs> That's 70s. exactly right. Okay. One. 
Give me a glass of water to wash out my mouth. You realize he could just be doing any voice and no one's going to know. Bob, you're wrong. Two sips. Nice, but what else do you have? Well, isn't that Again, I repeat. <laughs> Bob, you're wrong. <laughs> Three sips. Hmm. Interesting. What was this again? Interesting. But Bob, are there you're any wrong. PBS nerds out there who remember the McLaughlin Group? None that are still alive. <laughs> I was a Four teenager. sips. Let's keep this secret to ourselves. Pour me another. My grandmother That's passed away a long time ago, dude. <laughs> wrong. Five <laughs> sips. Oh my! I was unaware anything could be this good. Oh my goodness! Yeah. That's because yeah. he used to write speeches for yeah. Nick, so he wasn't aware of much. All right, well, we're going to go to uh, Brent and have him tell us about the first whiskey that we have. We're finally going to get our drinks. Oh, chicken, chicken, yeah! <laughs> chicken, chicken, boom, boom. And you know what? More people knew what that was from than what yeah. he just did. Oh, God. McLovin, baby. I... McLovin. <laughs> so the idea for Hoot McLovin, and Young. McLovin, McLaughlin. McLovin, yeah. McLovin. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you for that, Bob. Yeah, the idea for Hoot and Young was created one evening by two friends. Norm Hooten and Tim Young. I guess oh, that's, who would have guessed? Who, I would have right. Yeah, right. I thought it would have been Smith and Jones. Right. Well, it's not. At least they didn't call it uh, Norm Tim. Yeah, that, that would have been. Right. Yeah, so true. Norm, being an ex Delta Force Master Sergeant and member of the original Black Hawk Down operation, was sharing stories of lost friends and comrades. They realized that one of the best ways to honor these gone before was to keep their stories alive. So in keeping with their commitment to honoring those who wore the uniform of their country, 10% of all profits are donated to the veterans' charities. Awesome. And that's a great thing. I mean, awesome. uh, I can't say enough about that. So Hooten Young, or as we like to say, Norm Tim, mm -hmm. 12-year American whiskey, the 46% ABV, 92 proof. This is uh, the barrels for this expression were selected by George Mil Melodis of only 200. 69 master sommeliers in the world. Let me redo that for you. He, George Meliotis is one of only 269 master sommeliers on planet Earth. You oh, couldn't pronounce the word master. I couldn't How drunk are you? I couldn't pronounce the word <laughs> monster. I couldn't say world. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. So the mash bill is 90% corn, 99% corn, and 1% barley, and was distilled to 89 proof. 189. It's missing a one. 189. Yeah. <laughs> He's missing broken one. his brain. He yep. stopped. <laughs> Brent stopped working. You guys just uh, 189. Keep going. Light whiskey and keep filled going. into used barrels at 140 proof. Bourbon is distilled to no more than 160 proof, typically around 125 proof or lower, and barrels at a maximum of 125 proof into new barrels. So, so this is way beyond that. So this yeah, is way, light whiskey. Right, this, way this, beyond this. it, used cooperage, yeah. So yes. light whiskey. Right, right. Light whiskey, corn whiskey. Yeah. To say corn whiskey. Basically, yeah. Right. So um, very light. Not brown. I believe they call these corn squeezins. This very no, there's no brown here. There's no brown, so I don't know what to say. This is uh, this it's is gold. more of a it's gold, gold, right? It's, gold. it's a gold color. The and the nose, you get corn and vanilla. Your basic your basic corn whiskey notes that you have on the palate. Let's take a little taste. Mm. What do you think? That's smooth. All right, that's that's it's smooth now. When I first tasted this, it was bitter. And horrible. But with air, it's fantastic. It's gotten really nice. It's gotten really nice. Really yeah, it's nice. Frankly, it's, it's frankly, it's but gotten much the, nice. the only thing I have to say that's is a, is a short finish on this. So you drink it and you got to go back right away to get more. And maybe that's a, a ploy for us. It's not that's, a bad that's a, thing. That's, that's a feature, not a bug. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, a lot of whiskeys that we get, you know, we get a brand new bottle and crack open and it doesn't show well right out of the bottle. It needs to sit for a while and. You know, blow off some of the additional alcohol and oxidize just a little bit. And yeah, definitely can use it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, smooth, got a nice flavor to it, goes down pretty easy. So, you know, not too bad. Not what bad at think? all. What do you think, Justin? So I got a big tobacco hit off the nose when we first opened it. That went away when I came back around. It was definitely on the corny side. And um, so are your corny, jokes. corny. <laughs> oh, that's true. But not not bad. What did you think? Well, it's it's corn pout, not cornbread. 
I don't know what to tell you, man. It's, You've been drinking all stuff day. up now. Yeah. Let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, it's it's a light whiskey. It's it's yeah. acceptable. It's, it's nice. Very, it's, yeah. it's, drink it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good. And and they're doing good things and yeah. donating and back money, money to, to charity. charity. Yes, yeah. So awesome. So, you know, well right. done. Yep. And if you see with us on the shelf, grab one. What the heck? Uh, we're going to be giving the uh, Hoot and Young 12 Year American Whiskey three sips. Interesting. And thank you for your service. So let's go on to our next one. Let's have Harm tell us about that, if he can get it out. <laughs> well, don't ask me to get it out, Bob, because I will. I will. I'm sorry. I'm threatening you. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. You know, yeah. Let me, oh, God. You, can't. You, you bring your telescope. Are you threatening me? <laughs> no, he brought right. his microscope. Micro- thank you. So uh, um, this is the Virginia Distillery. know you're cheating on it? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Virginia Distillery, Courage and Conviction, 92 proof, 46% ABV. Founded by the late Dr. George G. Moore, an Irishman who came to the United States in the 1970s with the assistance of his family as well as the late Dr. Jim Swan, genius whiskey su- consultant beside such warm weather malt distilleries as Taiwan's Kavalon, oh, Israel's yeah. Milk and Honey. Both of these guys doing great stuff. Kavalon is much more mature. Bob has been there. Freaking amazing whiskeys. Jim Swan was a genius. That is no understatement. So assisted with the current... Uh, renowned master blender Nas- Nancy Fraley, who is you know a genius in her own right, they've dedicated themselves to helping uh, the American single malt whiskey character- category come alive. The well, courage and conviction for him today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm skipping words here. The courage and conviction is made of an ex using ex bourbon casks, ex sherry casks, cuvee casks, which are ex wine casks sourced from premium European red wine producers. And after the wine is removed, the casks are then broken down, the interior is shaved, retoasted, and recharred. These are called STR casks, shaved, retoasted, recharred. So they're using three different types of casks, and they're making American single malt. And I freaking like this quite a lot. It's a pale golden color. And the nose, the first thing I got right away was, and it's still there, apple cider, and then malt, cinnamon, and marzipan. So apples and marzipan, that, that beautiful candied almond going together. And um, the palate was creamy at the start. And then it had a sharp turn with the apple. And then we add water a little bit, smooths out the rough edges. A nice long finish. What do you think, uh, Bob? I think it's a, an excellent American malt whiskey, you know, and this is a category that's growing and they're really starting to turn out some quality stuff, you know, at the very beginning when they first started, when that was first a thing, it was a little bit hard, but, you know, you can see the stars rising up, you know, exactly. in that category. And again, if you've got Jim Swan and you got Nancy, you're going to have a quality product. This is lovely whiskey. It's got a great malt flavor to it. Like you said, it's got a lot of crisp apple to it. Got a great mouth feel. I've drunk this quite a few times other than on the show and have enjoyed it every time. And every time I have it, it seems like it's better. This is my first time with this one. I'm going to get some of this myself. I, yeah. I really enjoyed this. I mean, I do like some, a lot of American single malts. And oh, yeah. This is the first time with a Virginia one. Yeah. Westland makes yeah. good. These guys are awesome as well. Yeah. We'll be back. Hey, and we're back. And we were uh, just discussing from the Virginia Distillery Company, Courage and Conviction. Did you guys have anything you want to say on it? I'm good. You good? How about yeah. you, Justin? Any, any Malt is coming back, and the American, this American malt whiskey is making its name for itself around here. Yeah, it is. Uh, and, it, I mean, it's 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 a burgeoning category, and it's you know, there's a lot of really good ones coming. Yeah, out. I mean the one that the one that I. And I enjoyed the first one. That I really kind of enjoyed was the Hill Rock mm-hmm. malt, and that yep. was a, that was a nice one. Yep, that's a good one. We did the Westland, and they've got some fantastic stuff. Some of those uh, uh, beer cast finish ones they've done. We've done a bunch of those on here. Yeah, and and those are always interesting because every one of them is so different. So. Corsair, and, yeah. Uh, also, our, our Saint George. Have we ever done Saint George on the show? Uh, Baller, no, no, we haven't done it on the show. <laughs> no, they have an American yeah. single malt. Baller is Japanese yeah. style. It's on the list, though. Justin, you were going to say something. I interrupted you. Yeah, there was just like a little faint wisp of uh, wine on it, and uh, I thought it was really cool. A little note. Well, great job by the guys of Virginia Distillery Company. Uh, we're going to be giving the Virginia Distillery Courage and Conviction a rating of three sips. Interesting. So that takes us on to our next one, which is uh, going to be an interesting one. Um, we got in the barrel samples of Larceny Barrel Proof and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, the first release. 
And then we got the second release, and we hadn't gotten to the first release yet, so we're actually going to compare them. Busy reviewing whiskeys, man. We well, COVID is COVID has messed schedules up, is what it's done. Um, so what we have is we we're going to start with the Larceny Barrel Proof. We have the A one twenty one. It's one hundred fourteen point eight at fifty seven point four percent ABV, and we have the B five twenty one, which is the second release, at one hundred twenty one proof, sixty point five percent ABV. For the both of them, the, it's the same mash bill, 68 corn, 20% weed, 12 marted barley. We have went over the coding system before. The releases are A, B, and C through the year, and then the 1, the 5, the, that's the month, and the 21 is the year. Um, so let's start out with the uh, A121 Larceny. Mm. Yummy, yummy, right? Delicious. You know, uh you know, it is it is a, a just a, an exemplary example of a weeded whiskey. It you know it ticks all the right boxes. Um, it's got some lovely sweetness to it. It's got that that softness that you get from a wheat whiskey. Um, it's got a lot of caramel on the back palate. Uh, doesn't drink like a hundred and what are we? A hundred and twenty? A hundred? hundred and twenty-one? Doesn't drink like a. You know why? Because yeah. I put water in mine. Or one hundred fourteen. One hundred fourteen. <laughs> yeah, the A is a one fourteen. Yeah. The B is one twenty-one. Yeah, it's 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 pretty soft. So let's try the uh, let's try the B because Yahoo. Hmm. Now I. It, we automatically have to make a comparison here between yeah. A and the B. I mean, it's, yeah. we got them, we're doing them together. Um, you know, normally we don't like to do that, but we have to do that on these two oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Because, you know, well, and here's so. the thing. A lot of people, when they go out, you know, these are allocated. They're hard to get. Right. You may go in and you might find an A. You might find a B. You get later in the year. So you might find both. a C. You never, well, yeah. you know, you might not have the opportunity to get yeah. both. So, you know, here's a chance to hear a comparison of the first two releases. And of the we've year. got contention here. You guys, yeah. I think, uh, most, I think, you and uh, Brent and Justin, you like B better? Yeah. No, yeah. I know. I, a, no, the A was better. I like the A121 oh, better. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, the A's yeah. we like better. Yes. Well, then, screw you guys. I'm going home because the B is better. Hmm. See? Wrong. That <laughs> just goes to show you how wrong you are. No, let's see. The, so the B is all creme brulee and sandalwood on the nose. The palates are similar, but creme brulee and sandalwood, I do not get that sandalwood on A. So B, I got like uh, cinnamon red hot and uh, baking spices, and A was just like a traditional bourbon profile. I don't get any cinnamon on that. That's just weird, man. I didn't even eat any red hots today, but I'm getting it. What you got out of it? I'm doing over both of them again, and the A is is just it's just a softer, a is a softer, softer I'll version. Give you that. No, that's fine. I, I mean, it's no just a softer. That. Uh, you know, you know, they're they're both really nice. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, we're comparing we're comparing good apples to good apples. I just realized. Yeah. You know, am I the proof out here? I'm the one who's liking the 121, and you guys are liking the 114. Well, yeah, because you know, oh, we that's like just better, not right. We like I'm better not stuff. The proof found you. Oh. We like better stuff. You know, no, so. I like better stuff. You guys like proof usually. This is crazy. No, it's like I said. You're comparing you're comparing great apples to great apples. Um, and so you can't go wrong in either one of them, no matter what you choose. I just like the softness. Yeah, it's just and the, whatever hits you at that. And the balance moment. on the, uh, you know, yeah, for the I A. Know, that's I all. I know, I know. It's, it's all subjective, kids. We know this. Right. And it, but I just like busting your balls on you. Yeah. That's okay. I just like knowing you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said every time I see his wife. Ratings before the next one, sir? Are we do? Uh, I, I caught him with his mouth full. I love doing that. Bob's always got some whiskey in his mouth. They're both so good, though. But they are good. Yeah, it's you know? it's hard to it's really hard to draw a line between the two. And honestly, they've been sitting here with a little air, and, and they're 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 getting a lot closer for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I I still think the nose on the B is more appealing, and the palate. You're right. The the A is softer. The, but the I like the palate on A the on A better. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm liking, and me too. But I'm, I'm, I'm starting to like 
the nose on the other one more. So yeah, but so I'm saying that I, I go by I I, I there by was a little bit wider of a split. palate lasts longer than the yeah. nose, so that's why I go yeah. by the palate is my finishing. No, nose. see, I'm one of those guys who'll sniff my whiskey all night. I'm 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 oh, a guy who because you're cheap. You know, like, that's <laughs> right. I'm you, cheap. I go out you to a bar it back, yeah. and I flirt with my wife and some of her friends, whatever. And you know what? I only want to buy one drink. I'm not going to buy ten drinks. I'm going to buy one. When is he? Ever, I'm going to nurse my drink. When has he, he ever bought a drink? One drink. When, when has he ever bought a drink? <laughs> right. I, I, will, I will hit up my bartender friend for my free cocktail. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> that's right. So I will nurse my drink, and I could smell this the, the bee all night long. This is fantastic. I just keep coming back to it. Well, we're going to be rating the A121, a rating of four sips. Under that's protest. It's not protest. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and we're going to be rating the Larceny Barrel Proof B521 three sips. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> 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 Perfectly done. Yeah, where, where, where's, where's the sad trombone for me? Where's my sad trombone? Uh, in your pants, I'm guessing. But uh, okay. All right. So Harm's going to lead us into the next one, which is you. Elijah Craig. Thank you, Bob. The Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, we did, again, two mash, the, the same mash bill, 78% corn, 12% malted barley, 10% rye. We have the A21, which is 123.6 proof, and the B521, uh, 118.2. So these, to me, were a lot closer than the old Fitzgeralds. Yeah, these were much closer. Yeah, you are correct from the, from the minute I opened. Oh, thank you for letting me be correct for once, guys. Jeez. <laughs> You're wrong. And again, you're wrong. You're wrong. and you're again, wrong. that's what I heard his wife say the last time. <laughs> okay, the nose, I mean, the color first, they're both a deep, beautiful copper. And the nose is just, on the A, is brown butter, plums and cinnamon, and a little bit of uh, vanilla. And on the B, it's more muted. The B just doesn't come out on the nose until you add some water to it. Um, but the palate... Are, they're just gorgeous. Mm. Great, great fruit. A uh, little bit of, a lot of vanilla, um, and then some tobacco. And both have a wonderful long finish. I mean, I, just, I had a hard time picking between these two. I'm, I'm a Scotch guy more than a bourbon guy. So, Brent, you tell me. What, what, what's the difference between these two, really? Don't wreck our show, you hoser. <laughs> the difference between the two is I like them both better than the Larceny Barrel Proof. There oh, you go. How's that? The, I but I mean, I can't compare the two. But these two are so similar, and they're both great. I mean, again, you got the all those you have all those bourbon notes that you love that you get from your barrel proof vanilla, over the years. brown butter, brown yeah, sugar, exactly. caramel, yeah, and they're, they're just there. and they're amped up, and they're and it just they're both beautiful. But again, you have to make a comparison. And when I make the two, I choose A. Yeah, I agree with you this time because A has a better nose, but the palates are the same. Yes, right? yes. I, I I have to say about that. I mean, the palates is hard to take, hard to determine too much between the two palates, but the A is definitely a better Justin, nose. Justin, what do you think? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? No, they, they made an amazing bourbon twice. Mm. I, I don't well, more know. More than twice. twice. Uh, been, let me I mean, stipulate more than twice. I mean, they've been today. doing this through the years. Twice the this, today. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. These barrels. Usually, proofs. yes. Yeah. Right. No, I mean this this stuff's really impressive. And they've got this some is, heat. They're they're holding the This heat. is the reason they're, they're, why they're a warm hug. I mean this this, this is like the reason why people hunt the these world. down. People hunt these down. I mean and, and and there's a good reason why they do because they're that good. Yeah. yeah. I would rather have this than any blunt of you any pay day, all you taters out there. Five, six hundred dollars for a bottle of bourbon and rarely will it be better than either of these two. No, you know. Well that's no. what I think. So I should raise the price of these to five six hundred dollars. Well, only if they move. I mean, too so late in that so store. So you'd have to raise it an extra hundred, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seventy-five bucks all day long, baby. They're good. They're good. No, these these are great values. I I I have a barrel of Elijah Craig coming in to the store next week too. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. Good stuff. So, Bob, what's your what are your thoughts on this? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Bob, Bob, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is always my jam. Every time I taste one, I like it. I've never had one that I didn't like. 
And the worst one I've ever had was still fantastic. And I still say this is for the Figs. money. Figs. The, that's the that's the fruit I was missing. Fig jam. For the money, this is the best whiskey that you can buy. Period. I mean, it's 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 a great drink. It's a always and it doesn't matter. You know, we're sitting here splitting hairs between the one twenty one, the five twenty one, you know. It, when it all comes down to it, if you, you know, if and, and they have another release coming out later in the year, if you're, you know, sitting in your store in November of this year and you see all three of them sitting there, any one of them is going to do you. But if you see all three, buy yeah, all three. All three, yeah. It's like, uh, and, <laughs> don't mean the schnook that and, leaves them on the shelf. And you're in a store that's all three. I don't know why yep. that store is there. <laughs> what, I mean, what happened that there's all three sitting Sometimes there? Sometimes well, we they're back. It, it's Sometimes because it's in fine spirits and they're five hundred dollars. No, no, no. Sometimes I'll hold back. Oh, hey, would you like B five twenty and B five twenty one together to compare? There you yeah, go. Come on, yeah. have well, last year. But it's. Uh, I like how you. You know, I like how you keep stuff in the back sometimes for some yeah. people. Like you want to have something special. No, no. You know? There's a difference between holding stuff in the back and for losing it. It's forgetting you have it. Losing it. Losing it. What are these? When you hear him in the back, trip over something. You know, go. Oh, as he hits the floor and goes, what's this? The computer says I have it, but I really lost it. Really, two sides of the same coin. Right. Oh, it's two two cases of and now it's a collector's item. Yeah. <laughs> it's you know the thing is 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 every one of them is good and they're great whiskeys for the money and the other nice thing is is again you're not going to find it on the shelf at every single store but if you're talking about really high end limited allocated bourbon this is one of the ones that you can find Fine. oh yeah with uh, without uh, right. killing yourself i mean I if you work to... hard enough you will probably be able to track one of either the larceny or the or the wives craig down because they do produce a good bit of it. So to produce it for, you know, at that level of quality, both of these, and for a reasonable price, yeah. com, you know, They're considering all, uh, what under everything else right. is going for, and to still have enough supply that you might be able to get one of these without, <laughs> you know, killing yourself. They're, they, you know, they're killing it. They're yeah. killing but if you it. are looking for a five thousand dollar whiskey, you know, come to Five Spirits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was in, I was in three different stores. Yeah, he's and I got saw that the barrel special proof. single barrel fireball. So the, you know what it is? No, 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 it's the, the, uh, it's the <laughs> Malort. Malort. He's Malort. Got, right. Finish him. It's a fireball. Finish him. Malort barrels. Mm-hmm. Malort. Finish him. Wine cast. Coming mm-hmm. to Five Spirits near you. Oh my gosh! Yeah, give us the rating, fantastic. Bob. Give so, us the rating. Let's yeah. go. We got, we got more whiskey. Well, ten whiskeys today. Well, for the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A121, we're going to give it a rating of four sips. That's classified. And for the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B521, again, four sips. Ooh. That's classified. Fantastic whiskey, especially for the money. That, them is pretty whiskey. They're very All right, pretty. so Justin, tell us about our next one. Oh, I'll, or, or oh, I'll tell you. Or is it you? No, it's I'll you. I'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. So the next whiskey we're going to talk Brent, about is the... Branch is spelled with a B, not The spring Justin. 2021 Wrong. release... Yeah, of the old Fitzgerald Bottle and Bond. Since 2018, every spring and fall, a new edition of the old Fitzgerald Bottle and Bond Decanter Series is released in an ornate bottle inspired by the original 1950s old Fitzgerald Diamond Decanter. That was a beautiful bottle. They've recreated it. It's nice. So the ages of the past release have varied from 9 to 15 years, making this spring release the youngest so far. So it was pulled from three different rickhouses on different floors on two different production dates. So this old Fitzgerald Bottle and Bond Spring 2021 release is 50% ABV, which we know because it's Bottle and Bond, 100 proof, and it's eight years old. Which is double the minimum for Bottle and Bond. Right. So, um, But the youngest old Fitz so far. Old Fitz. Right. Old Fitz. So I think it was last year or the year before, it was like my bourbon of the year. That, yeah. I, that I had, you know, that I really enjoyed that one. You I think it was a, a, that, 13, yeah. a 13 year. Um, this one here, it hits all the same notes. I mean, your classic, classic bourbon, you know, of your vanillas, your caramels, your, you know, you get a little bit of, uh, of the brown sugar, the tobacco, uh, your, you know, your wood, a tan- little bit of your wood tannins, um, a little bit of a dried cherry, some fruit on there. A classic, classic on this one. And I, this I might, more plum this than one, cherry here, Brent. This no. one might be, this one might be my bourbon of the year again. An eight year old bourbon of the year. I could, it That's could happen. That's insane, man. They went about? younger, but it stayed Who great. Are you? Right. I know that, but it's, uh, I just enjoy this one a lot. I can't even say enough good things about it. As soon as I, as soon as I tasted it, I was like, 
you know, like singing. There was like oh. these angels like singing around my. Uh, now around let, my let me let me be the iconoclast here. Let me okay. come right come against you. Okay, go ahead. This, Bring me down I, to earth. It tastes too hot. It tastes hotter than hundred. Wrong. It tastes one, hotter than one hundred. Mm. It's not that. We're all high. tasting. I, th- I think Har made a box of Red Hots. I don't think over. this tastes too hot. It's not this too is... hot. It tastes hotter than one hundred, though. Okay, one hundred and two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you're just, just <laughs> looking at me like I'm a fool. What's going on? Right. Well, it's an easy look. <laughs> I was going to say, you should be used to that by now. Uh, it's lovely. And it and the thing I can't believe is it's only eight years old. No, I can't believe it's it. Just, no, it's just so well balanced. It's so well put together. It's a bourbon prodigy. Yeah. Yeah. The nose is just, it's delicate and lovely. And Wolfgang so Amadeus Fitzgerald. Mm. Yeah. I mean, for the bourbon of the year, I always like to pick something that's that's readily available to the you know to the whole general population and stuff, and this one fits my category so far this year. And I'm not and I I know everybody likes to go towards the, some of the allocated ones of the. It, this is still but, allocated. Old and, and is hard it to is get. still allocated, but it's not. Yes. It's not like when one of the Brent goes to thirty stores, dollars. though he will find one. Yeah. Yes, I will search this one down. Yeah, I'll tell you where, but he found one. Hunt it. Yeah, it's 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 really. I mean, it's so well put together. No, I, I'm it's, not disagreeing. I just that was a little bit hot for, compared to the, of the other releases. Just brown sugar, caramel, toffee. It's got a little bit of milk dud to it. Yes, it's, you know that sort of yes. real rich, thick kind of almost black caramel and and malty chocolate and yeah, it's just absolutely lovely. You guys are making me want to change my mind, man. Well, this is good. You, you talk it up. It's a yeah, twist your arm. It's all you. There's nothing to talk up when you have yeah. something this good. Yeah, and that's the thing. <laughs> and it, and the nice thing about it is, is every you know every release, spring and fall, is always different. So every time we get one of these, you know, you never know exactly what you're going to get. Like Forrest Gump, you know, uh, you never know what you're going to get. And Life is like a box of chocolates. Yeah, and this is like a Life uh, is like bottle a, of chocolates. Like a Box full of old Fitzgerald. You never know which one you're going to get. <laughs> um, but a fantastic There's less chocolate, whiskey. more toffee here. Yeah, but a fantastic whiskey, um, as usual. I didn't expect it not to be good, but I think this is one of the better ones that they've done in, you know, quite some time. You know, I just I can't say enough good stuff about it. We're going to be rating the old Fitzgerald bottled at Bond Spring 2021 release, an extremely well-deserved five sips. Oh my goodness! Yes! 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 And we'll be back. Hey, and we're back for this epic show of tasting of whiskey, and we've already been through uh, seven, so why don't we add three more? So let's have uh, Justin tell us a little about our next whiskeys uh, from the folks at Joseph Magnus. So after the death of his father in the Civil War, a young Joseph Magnus became a merchant like his father. He soon branched out into the wholesale liquors, and by the time he was 26, he had built a liquor empire based out of Cincinnati, Ohio. So wait, was he a Yankee? Appears so. Oh, man. He developed the Murray Hill Club. I married the wrong side. That's a whole other show. That's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. That's what she said. He developed (laughs) the Murray Hill Club whiskey for, in his eyes, people of discriminating taste, mature judgment and introduced his whiskey into the leading bars, hotels, cafes, and groceries of his day. The arrival of National Prohibition caused Magnus to pause his whiskey production and sales for the remainder of his life. Magnus enjoyed, but did not produce fine spirits. Then, nearly a century later, a fortunate discovery was made by one of the Magnus' great-grandsons. A few carefully preserved bottles of 122-year-old Murray Club Whiskey. Murray, Murray Hill. Hill Club Whiskey. Right. <laughs> the family gathered industry veterans to taste, test, and reproduce this whiskey if possible. Today, with the help of master blender Nancy Fraley, they have brought back the family legacy. What I wouldn't do to try one of those 122-year-old whiskeys. Oh, we know what you do. That's why we stay away from you in a dark room. <laughs> yeah. What you wouldn't do is a very short list. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Murray Hill Club Bourbon Whiskey, a blend, batch 21, 103 proof, or 51.5% alcohol by volume. The whiskey is a blend of sourced 18 and 11-year bourbons 
with nine-year-old light whiskey. Um, on the nose, I found it was sweet, light, and uh, predominantly vanilla. On the palate, I got um, heavy butterscotch note, light honey, some toffee, baking spices, vanilla, and a hint of black pepper. And the finish was long and nice. What did you think, Brent? Yeah. When, you, when you're dealing with, with these kind of numbers, 18, 11, and 9-year-old, you expect something that's going to be, you know, above normal. And I think we got that. I think we have that above normal. I, we definitely do. I, you have all those uh, on their palate. You got your butterscotch, that honey, the, um, the toffee. It's just uh, a little bit of baking spices. See, I got I think, more than a hint of black pepper. I think there's well, yeah, there's a lot of there's. I mean, I think with the black pepper, I think that you know the the baking spices and the black pepper kind of blend together very well and okay. stuff. But um, you know, I think that Nancy Fraley has done an amazing job with this one as she's done as with some others yeah. that we've that we've talked about her with, and it's. Uh, I'm um, I'm kind of I was kind of thrown back by it because I was expecting something less than what we're getting right here and so i was i was underprepared for how good this actually is and i'm really enjoying had the murray it hill club before no no i've not had the murray hill i've had the joseph magnus and so mm. i hadn't so i've had right i haven't had the murray hill so i was kind of like well this is like an offbeat of theirs and i've had a good joseph magnus and bad joseph magnus and you know ones that i've never not, had not, a bad not, joseph not magnus. bad i'm not going to say bad i'm ones that not that, as good that, as the that, others. that don't appeal to my palate all the, all the time and stuff, so I'm uh, pleasantly surprised that this one really hits the notes. You? I agree, man. I, just, I think you guys both hit it on the nose. Uh, well, speaking of the nose, uh, um, Justin was saying vanilla, but to me it's more like toffee, like yeah, you know, like a, a caramel toffee, and I get honey, and there's, a, there's an herbal component, and there's a little hint of pepper, but on the palate. It's that butterscotch, like he said. Yeah. Um, and that to me, the pepper really stood out. Uh, did the, you guys put the, the water? The finish is really is uh, beautiful on this, too. I mean, this has got the whole... This one has the entire mouth-coating feeling onto it. I thought you it was know, a little hot at first, but then, you know... The, the, it, your first note is kind of hot, mm. and I think uh, that may be affected by some of the other bourbons we've had today that maybe the, because this one's kind of like... A lighter whiskey, it kind of feels hot. You know, I don't know. It's because yeah, well, there's, it's uh, you said there's nine year old light whiskey in here, right? Yeah. So the light whiskeys are, uh, what they we were talking about the higher proof. They're they're like halfway towards vodka. So that I guess that gives a little bit to the heat. Mm. Nothing wrong with it though at all. I mean, no, it's extremely boy. well made. I mean, no, I got a, dude, got a great nose it. on it. Got yeah. a great nose. I mean, on the palate, it's just. Mm. The other thing with this one is this is kind of unique. We got a three seven five bottle, which is it's like a little baby Magnus bottle. You know? and I've never they seen one of these before. They look I the love same. It. They look the same, but they're miniature. It's, it's, and it's, it's a uh, very nice decanter mm. with the uh, like it, it mimics the cut crystal look. It's it's a very they're they're a very pretty decanter. You want them on your bar? I've never seen a three seven five milliliter. This is nice. It's, you know, everything about this one. Yes, it's sweet. It's light. Not, not. Well, I don't want to say it's light. It's, it's a little lighter. Um, but it's, it's softer. butterscotch. Not light, it's but still soft. solid. It's soft. butterscotch and honey and vanilla and char, and then the black pepper. You get, you know, if you give it a nice sip, hold it for a second, so, swallow it, and then give that slow exhale, and that's where I pick up all the. Would pepper. you Would you use this for a cocktail or not? Because I mean, it's way better than no, most cocktails. No, 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 no. no, I, I, no. I, this is this is what I drink alone. Yeah, to no, me, no, 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 I, I, I would be like make a fancy cocktail with this, uh, like impress people with this one. You know. Uh, yeah, I don't no. know if it's got the punch to uh to. I don't know if it's got no. a lot of times when it I make, get, want to make a cocktail. Yeah, it's too delicate. Like too much finesse. You know, I think, it's, I think it's right, not this one is, shine through. Yeah, like yeah. I think this one has too much finesse to make a cocktail. I think this one. See, I, I live a, my life by the motto: panties off by midnight. Over. Well, <laughs> well let's hope your panties because, make yeah, it right because you wear them. I don't know. What to tell you. <laughs> well, we're going to be giving a score for the uh, Murray Hill Club. Bourbon whiskey, a bland batch 21. We're going to be rating that at four sips. Well done. Yes, definitely. So we're going to go on to our next one. Let me grab that. 
which is the Joseph Magnus Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 50% ABV, 100 proof. This is a marriage of straight bourbon whiskey aged in white oak barrels and finished in Oloroso Sherry, Pedro Jimenez, and Cognac casks. It's got a nice... Mm, brown. Somewhat, <laughs> That's no, a brown. That's a brown. That's a brown. <laughs> Somewhat, uh, I'd say actually, it's a, it leans a little more toward like red, like reddish copper. Um, it's it's oxidized copper. It's mm, yeah, yeah. It's, it's got beautiful. Yeah, it's got a lovely nose. Not not too overpowering at all. Sweet, like like the last one had a sweet nose on it. This one also to me has a sweet nose, but on the palate, it's mm. flowers and red fruit on the mm-hmm. nose, man. Yeah, it's like red berries. It's a lot of flowers in there. Um, on the palate, I'm getting some baking spice. Mm. Mm. Baking spice, uh, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of, uh, uh, what am I thinking of? Oh, um, Tobacco's uh, hitting me hit. Tobacco, yeah, yeah. yeah when tobacco you talk brand, about, yeah. Yes, it's like tobacco. a little bit of brown sugar syrup. You definitely get a huge, uh, like wet tobacco barn uh, note to it. A um, little bit, a little bit of that musty tobacco to it. A little bit of cedar. You know, I mean, it's like smelling an old cigar box. You know what? What's, yes. what's really Lungs. coming out to exactly. me? Is the, it's the o, the Oloroso and the Pedro Jimenez are not yeah. overpowering here. Yeah. They did a good balance. Yeah, they Although did. I think yeah, Brandt exactly. thinks you think it's muddled, right? I think it's right. For me, I think it's too muddled. I think that they experimented too much. I think there's. I think the three don't complement each other enough. Pedro um, and Oloroso are a classic complement, and you are wrong, and you must leave now. Exactly, and so but exit, then, exit but the then studio. They, but then they added the cognac, and I okay. think um, to to me. I think it's more it gears more towards a geek whiskey, you know, because of the de- the flavors that have been mulled together. I resemble uh, that remark, right? And there's a lot of people that resemble that, yeah. and so there's a there's a, going to be a wide audience for this. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not yeah, gonna, I'm not going to say right. I just think for me, it's you know, I got the I got the plums and the, the tobacco and uh, the. The things that just didn't work for me all together when they, you know, when everything came combined, and that's okay because I'm a more of a classic bourbon guy than, you know, mm-hmm. or a single. Uh, I prefer scotch or, or I prefer a right or a scotch, or right, or a single um, finish. You know, I, yeah. lot, I like a, I love a lot of single finishes. Justin, which one of us uh, is wrong? You judge. So, to make this Justin McLaughlin spirit the best possible, pair it with a mild cigar. Okay. It's going to be a perfect complement to a mild or medium cigar. I love all the finishes together, and I think that will just bring it all together. I think it would be perfect with a bacon sandwich, but that's my oh, answer yes. to just about everything. Isn't everything yes. perfect with a bacon sandwich? Yes. You know what's even better with a bacon sandwich? Sex. A Sex bacon sandwich. <laughs> you know why? Because I have one as any time I want. Now I want to go home and make a bacon yeah, sandwich. Twenty four seven. I want a bacon sandwich. I can have a bacon sandwich all day long. Yeah, yeah excellent whiskey. And I, yeah. I, I think Justin's. I think Justin's on there. I think. I think this would. It's got. A, it's got that sweetness to it. I think it would pair where a light to medium. I wouldn't go with anything heavy. Anything heavy is just going to blow it out. But if you got, you know, if you've got a really nice light wrapper, you know, short stick. Uh, I think this would be perfect. I think it will. I think it would stand up to a heavier cigar if you had a short stick, hmm. um, which you do. <laughs> yeah, so that that's tracks. what she said. Oh okay. my God! Jeez, I walked right into that. Yes, it? you did. All right, so we are going to be rating the. Uh, I hate you all. Yeah. I hate, let me officially. I hate you all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We know. Thank you. We're going to be rating the Joseph Magnus four sips. <laughs> Yeah, well deserved for us. All right, so we're going to our last whiskey of our ten for the day, and we're going to have Brent tell us about uh, one that's near and dear to his heart. So, yeah, so I am kind of a one of the angels and be geeks, you know that I've it's been, uh, you know I've I've kind of loved all their finishes and stuff. So this is one of their new ones. And we've been good friends with you know several of the folks over there for yeah. years and years and years. Yeah, great people, but. They make great whiskey. Oh, How yeah. do you name drop without even dropping a name, Bob? I didn't, I didn't drop a single name. He, nope. But we know multiple people. They're good people. I know people. 
You know, but it's so you wouldn't the, know what good people are. So be quiet. So no, I, so I the, don't hang out with good people. As is obvious today. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that's what we said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the Angels Envy Straight Bourbon Finished in Madeira Cask is fifty percent ABV, hundred proof. So this is the third release in their cellar collection uh, after traveling to Madeira to sample numerous wines from the islands, famous wineries. They found the perfect ex Madeira wine cask to finish their bourbon for this expression. And how much did that trip suck, right? Well, yeah. uh, exactly. Like, okay, well. To the, the people yeah. we have not named, and invite yeah. us. The, the, yeah, poor Wes. Like, I like, feel uh, so bad stuff, for him right? that he had to so. fly all the way to Madeira. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got, a, it's got one of the lighter colors to it. Um, it's, you know, like uh, kind of a newer, newer pinnish color. Um, it's uh, the nose. A what color? A newer pinnish. Newer penny color. Newer penny? penny? Yeah, penny? newer penny. Yeah. Wrong. 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 Yeah. A new, newer penish. The, yeah. the alcohol has gone straight to the brain. That's okay. I don't That's mind. good. Right. So you got caramel. You got some bananas. You got some raisins. Uh, a little bit of cherry. Get a little bit of nuts to this. Um, on the On the palate. Almonds, almonds, yeah. almonds. On the palate, you get, you get chocolate, dried cherries, um, some leather, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of oak. It's beautiful. On the finish, let's see the finish on this one again. It's still going. Taste it again. I'm just watching mm. him suck that down. He's not even letting it stay in his mouth. Uh, that's what he she said. It. Brent doesn't have a stunt drinker. He actually does all his yeah, own stuff. He does all his own stunts. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, I'm not. No stunt drinker needed for me. He's like the so. Tom Cruise of drinkers. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's all his own stunts. Yeah. But the words wouldn't. Yeah. Come. This is probably. I would say they're best of the cellar collection. No. It's more balanced than than the others as far you just, as... You like this better than the Tawny Port? Yes, I think I do. Oh, you're broken inside. I you know I'm broken inside, broken but it's... Inside. I like the Olorosa Sherry Cask one the most, but I enjoy this too. I, I love to, Olorosa I think Sherry. I'm gonna. I think I'm going to have to put all three next to each other now that I have this one. Do yes, you have we, all three? We need to. No, I have the other two, but I have this one now as a yeah. little bit as a little tiny sample. And I they were very them, stingy this year with the Madeira. And I could put them all together. I did not win the lottery to win oh, one no, of these. They, us, they, they were us a nice sample. No, no, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about for the liquor stores. Oh, oh no. Well, well, oh, well, it hasn't because, hit the yeah. liquor stores. Got to be specific. No, no. The, the, the Madeira cast got you hit the liquor stores last week. Yeah. Okay. In, yeah. In well, nice people, not you. I was about to say he no, was I got grumpy. Some. I got some, but oh, they were okay. very stingy. Okay. Last year, I got... Ten times as much. Oh, so you got one of these in? The, you have one of these in store? More than one. Okay, well, yeah. I'll be there. No, we can't. Not for you. I know that. I can't me, charge but... you full price. I know you can't. <laughs> charge I want to charge somebody no. more than full price. <laughs> he's never. Trust me, he's never charged you just the full price. <laughs> Harm has yeah. drank right. so much that he's telling the truth. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. tune in, yeah. fellas. So, but yeah, so uh, one I enjoy. I can't say enough good things about this. Uh, it was going to keep me coming back for their next collection and their collection after that and after that. So, Justin? I, I wish I had a vertical of the whole series. This one's very enjoyable. Um, he did a great job with it. I'd like to really know and taste the actual the Madeira. Madeira itself on its yeah. own. But of course. If he maybe put a little, like, one-ounce kicker of that with the bottle, it would be great. Yeah, I'm thinking for geeks this like me. A- this was a drier this the, style. This is of not the last drop kind of thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you but it could be. This. But it could be. <laughs> no, yeah, this this was not like a Miles Me. This is not a, a really sticky Madeira. This is more, you know, West Sweet Madeira. Yeah. I I can't tell you for sure, but that's my guess because it's not as cloying as I expected it to be, which I was actually kind of hoping for. I was kind of excited to see how it came out, but this no, came out. Drier style is fine yeah, here. This came out beautiful. It, again, they didn't overwhelm the whiskey. It, yeah. All it did was just elevate it. Yeah. Finish is fantastic. Five sips. Oh my yep. Well done, yeah. guys. All day. Yeah. 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 Well, that's all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed this episode. You can catch all of our episodes where you found this one, as well as on terrestrial and satellite radio. And online at iTunes, Google Play, iHeartRadio, CBS Radio, Radio.com, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and pretty much any place that you can listen to a podcast. The easiest way to find the show on your phone is to ask Alexa, Siri, or Google, or whoever it is that talks back to you on your phone to play podcasts, sips, and smokes. My wife talks back to me in person. 
We love channel. your feedback. You can reach us online at info at sipsudsandsmokes.com. Our daily tasting notes flow out on Twitter every day at Sip, Sud, Smoke, and our Facebook page is always buzzing with lots of news. You'll also be able to interact with the thousands of other fans on those social media platforms. You can also check us out on Instagram at Sip, Suds, and Smokes or at Made Man Bob. Do us a favor and take the time to rate this episode. If you're listening to us online, it's a big help to us, and we get your feedback as well. You can yeah, also send check us an out. Email. You can also check out Brent, Maury, and myself on Facebook at the Bourbon Mafia. I want to thank our co-host for joining us today. Thank you, Brent. Uh, you can't kick me out yet. I'm not done drinking. I didn't say you had to go. I'm just thanking <laughs> you for coming. Just, uh, yeah, showing well, up. you know, when you have to drink ten, when you have to drink ten bourbons, I guess you can suffer. Well, sometimes <laughs> art is suffering. Thank you, Arm. I will suffer for this art anytime. Thank you for having me, Bob. Anytime. I prefer scotch, but uh, yeah, this is good. Call pretty much, Uber. pretty much Uber. every time. Yeah. Thank you, Justin. Well, I thank you all for having me on. And John McLaughlin had to go back to the great me on. He just wanted me to tell you, you're all wrong. That's it. <laughs> There's Justin making reference to somebody who's been dead since 1970, and no one remembers over the under the age of 108. Ay, ay, ay. Well, for Sip, Suds, and Smokes, this is Main Man Bob. We thank you for joining us. Remember, life is too short to drink bad whiskey. Where's our bad whiskey? I, uh, we didn't bring any bad whiskey today. This has been a one tan hand production of Sip, Suds, and Smokes, a program devoted to the appreciation of some of the finer slices of life. From the dude in the basement studios, your host, the good old boys, will see you all next time.